Now the latest from the Scotts Bluff Body and Paint Sports Desk. Scotts Bluff Body and Paint, you're driving home our reputation. All the basketball, all the time at this point of the calendar year. High school hoops to start, and let's take it back to Tuesday night for the girls' B8 sub-district championship game at Scotts Bluff High School. The Bearcats hosting Alliance, and this was a low-scoring knockdown drag-out affair between these two old rivals. A total of just 53 points in the game as Scotts Bluff was able to survive it. The final 28-25, just a four-point lead at halftime for Scotts Bluff, and then, of course, it got tighter at times in the second half. The Bearcats with with zero two-point baskets throughout the entire second half. Luckily, Ava Reed caught fire from the three-point line, hitting three trays in the third quarter and adding another in the fourth. She finished with 20 of the team's 28 points and made six triples in the win. Scott's Bluff is now set for a district final at home. That'll be on Saturday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. They'll take on Elkhorn High School. The Antlers in town will have coverage on 107.3 The Trail. That'll get underway with pregame coverage at 12.45. Before that game arrives, some other district finals for some C&D girls programs across the region tomorrow night. As far as our coverage is concerned, I'll be in Bridgeport for the Bulldogs C1 final against Gordon Rushville. Bridgeport looking for another trip to Lincoln. Also tomorrow, the Baird girls play a C2 district final. They'll travel to Lexington High School to take on Niobrara Verdigre, and that one will air on KMOR 93.3 starting at 445 Mountain Time. Tonight, of course, it's the boys' B8 sub-district championship game as Scotts Bluff hosts McCook. That went on the trail beginning at 545, tip-off at 6 o'clock. Plenty of C&D boys' games tonight. The full schedule is posted on the website. Now, how about the WNCC men's basketball team here of late? They've now won nine straight games, including a big double-digit home victory over North Platte Community College earlier this week on Tuesday night. The Cougars now at 9-1 in sub-region play, and they've got a monster road game at fellow conference leader Trinidad State tomorrow night. The Cougar women also won at home against McCook earlier this week. They're off this weekend before hosting Lamar next Tuesday at Cougar Palace. Cougar baseball, they're home this weekend. Home opener Saturday and Sunday against Miles Community College. WNCC softball, they're on the road at Otero Saturday and Sunday. That is the latest today from the Scotts Bluff Body and Paint Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell.